Good morning, welcome home and back for stories from my tree. Today is a special day. As you can see, I'm decked out in my Superman gear and I'm holding uh, probably my very first Hallmark collectible ornament, which uh, used to be a motion ornament. You can see it's uh, Clark Kent turning into Superman in a phone booth. And this was a gift for me from my mom uh, for my birthday. And I mentioned this today because it's my birthday. And if you know much about me, I am a huge Superman fanatic. I love Superman, love the stories of the Man of Steel. Um, I just, I love Superman, what can I say? So for my birthday, I figured this would be a perfect opportunity to break out one of my very first Superman ornaments. And unfortunately, this one's so old, uh, it no longer fits in our modern day ornament, uh, oh, I'm sorry, Christmas-like uh, doohickeys. That's a technical term, of course. Uh, so I don't really get to see it move anymore, but this ornament is also one of the very favorite ones that I have on my tree. Uh, because of my love for Superman. Now, Superman is known as a Christ figure, not saying that he is Jesus, but Superman's story mimics a lot of that of Jesus, how a, a son from another place comes to live on earth to be a leader and to be a light. And uh, so as I think about my Superman ornaments, and I have quite a few, you'll see a couple more before we're done. Uh, but as I think about this, I'm first of all reminded about the uh, the very first Christopher Reeve Superman movie when uh, Marlon Brando, who plays uh, Kal-El's father, sends him to Earth. He talks about how, as far as being human beings, uh, we have the capacity for a great good. We only lack the light to show the way. And then, of course, in the Man of Steel movie that came out a few years ago, uh, the mythology, as it gets retold, says that the S on Superman's suit isn't for Superman, but it's the symbol of hope which is the symbol of El. Now, in the Hebrew, El is the name for God. And so when we think about Kal-El, we're thinking about a representative of God who is our hope and came to be the light that shows us the way. And even though we may not necessarily be able to step into phone booths, there aren't many left in our society, uh, but even though we may not be able to step into a phone booth and, and turn into a great superhero, when we allow the love and the power of Christ to come into our hearts, he comes into us and he changes and he transforms us. He gives us that hope and he sheds that light on us to show us the light of the way. So uh, as we celebrate uh, our Advent series, Stories from My Tree, getting, uh, getting closer and closer to Christmas, and I pull out my very first Superman ornament, break out my Superman tea, uh, I want you to know that Christ is the hope for all of humankind and he is the light that can show you the way. So if you're walking through a little bit of darkness this morning, hear those words from Isaiah that said that people who are walking in darkness have seen a great light for a savior is born unto them. So may that hope, may that light, as we look at something like a superhero from the pages of comic books or the silver screen in movies, may that hope and that light guide us today. Thanks, God bless, have a wonderful day, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for another installment of Stories from My Tree.